guys welcome back to my youtube video it's your girl nelly and today we are going to be doing uh, a first time frontal ponytail now if y'all know like this is probably like one of the hardest things that i ever do i am not a professional in doing wigs or anything like that yet but um i decided to take the challenge and go ahead and try to do this double frontal ponytail as you guys see i am trying to make sure that the lace is matching my skin and obviously it doesn't match my exact skin color it is very hard for me to find something that matches my exact skin color and then also as you guys see i am putting like another wrap over my head um oh what i forgot like well matter of fact this was for because i actually didn't have the back part so that's what i'm doing so i'm just putting the cap over um so that way i'll be able to have that cap cover um over like the back side of my you know the back side of my hairline or whatever so i'm just cutting the ears i am now doing my got to be glue make sure make sure that uh that cap is going to stay down All right, so the very next thing that I'm doing and I am just uh, cutting out the ear pieces and I'm going to try my best to do the back. <laughs> oh my God, y'all got to see the results, man. Y'all just got to, I don't know, see it. But yep, that's basically what I'm doing right now. And next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the top piece that way, you know, uh, you know, when you usually do a ponytail, you know, you got to have that, that, that top piece that needs to be open. And then on top of that, I got to cut the, the thick part where the, uh, what is that called? The, the cat, I got to cut the thick part of the cat and it's very hard to actually feel like the thick part when you're feeling like at the back of your head. So that was like really the hard part for me, but y'all know we taking on like a experience or experiment right now, a challenge, you know, I gotta do this cause you know, I wanted to do it. And this frontal piece actually looks a mess. Y'all gonna see later on in the video that, you know, I had to, restart what i was doing i just wrapped it around just to see how it was going to look um next thing is we're going to be using this famous tiktok hairspray or supposedly like glue so people use it instead of like the ghost bond or whatever and as you guys see look at the back of my head it's not even cut all the way okay and i'm just sitting there spraying it and it ain't even cut all the way but like i said like it's really hard to like feel back there without actually like seeing it i even try to do it in the mirror in the mirror and it's just i don't know it's just hard to do okay so anyways you guys are going to keep on seeing and watching the video and then on top of that now i am trying to apply the back of the legs i gotta put my head down and all that try to do that and oh my god y'all look at the back oh my god oh my god and as you guys see, I kept on trying to take it off and put it back on because it just wouldn't stick. I had to keep spraying it just so it can stick. It did end up sticking at the end of the video, but y'all gonna see that later on. This is the hardest part of doing this method. Okay, okay. Then I got paper on the back of my neck. I got paper on my face. It's just too much. I got a cap to try to stick it down. It's a mess, y'all.
okay so as you guys see i decided to take the front part of the frontal off and basically i just feel like that it wasn't blending well so i went ahead and i washed it blow dried it and basically um i did like a hot comb it because i wanted to be a little bit more flatter and then not only that um i had to change the makeup color because it, it just wasn't given So as you guys see, I am using now a different concealer that um, I usually use. Um, and now I'm just going over the lace with it just to see if it will blend. Okay, so now I am putting the lace back on my head and as y'all see it is still not going well like i just feel like the lace okay the lace was pretty thick it's just not going well for me I, I there was no point of even coloring like the cap there's just no point of me doing that the lace was too thick it just wasn't giving it wasn't giving blend to me it just wasn't okay here i am back at it again doing the the front of my lace just one more time i gotta get this right one more time the lace it, i mean the color of it it just was a given now i had to use like a whole different type of concealer like whole different type of concealer Ugh, this is like the most stressful type of hair wig that i've ever done okay and then this time i am using the foundation instead of like a concealer just to see like you know if it will work better or not i think the lace was just too thick so it doesn't you know it's just not blending well like how all the rest of my wigs usually do like i don't have that many problems when it comes to like the coloring part so now y'all i'm just redoing everything and trying to put on the front of my lace again okay so as you guys see it looks way better than the concealer that like i usually use um it is not blending all the way it just looks a little bit better than the concealer that you know that i usually use for the wigs and stuff like that so um i guess i mean that's what we have to work with right now Right here, I'm just doing like my little two pieces that I want um, at the front of my head. All right, y'all, so now we switch into the bathroom because I got tired of walking from the living room back to the bathroom, back to the living room, back to the bathroom. I might as well just bring the whole camera in the bathroom because it's a better view and I can see what I'm doing. 
so right here now i'm just trying to still try to get it flat trying to you know try to get in, get it into like a ponytail and things like that girl that flat i mean not that flat that uh that hot comb was on the half of just falling apart it wasn't given like hot comb it was given like warm comb and <sighs> y'all it's an old comb so like we had it for like so many years and i guess when when somebody dropped it it just i don't know it, it, it started falling apart and stuff like that on me so i'm trying to do the best switching the camera view because i'm that girl period I also had trouble with trying to connect both of the frontals together on the side of the pieces. Uh, yeah, that's hard. All right, y'all. So this is the part where I literally like came up with this idea. I didn't use YouTube or anything. I literally just thought about it. So right here, I am just putting this paper over uh, my real hair. As you guys see, I'm just wrapping it around my bun. And then I go ahead and put a little bit of glue on it. Not a lot because I didn't want any glue on my real hair, of course. So you just make sure that the paper connects and sticks together. And then you go ahead and try to get the back of the frontal and the front of the frontal. Put it in a ponytail and make sure that it's going to be pretty tight. Y'all already know I'm excited because it took forever just to even get to this point, okay? And so the next thing that I'm going to do is just wrap that up, even wrap the red hair into like a bun itself so you get another ponytail holder and you just wrap that up into a little bun. And then here I go with the paper again, because really, I'm just really trying to protect my real hair. Like I do not want no type of glue in my real hair at all. So like I said, I just wrapped it up, uh, put the little glue on it just to protect my hair. Okay, so the next thing I did was just cut out little pieces from the bundles that I had. I put glue on it and then I wrapped it around like the top area. Like it only fits the front part of it, not the back. So you just, you know, I know people are going to be scared to like cut out, you know, cut up their bundles and stuff like that. But I mean, I had to make something shape because I didn't know how to like, get a whole uh bundle and just wrap it around and then you cut out like the the smaller pieces and connect it to the back side of the the paper so that's basically what i was doing um i don't know if anybody else does this method um i literally just came up like i came up with this in my head so um yeah um use it if you want to because it it, it worked for me shoot And then the last thing I am going to do is just curl up my hair. 
Um, I actually liked it straight. Like, you know, if I would have did it like really good, like I've actually wouldn't mind just having it straight. But I just added the curls just so, you know, because I had like a picture in my head or whatever. So I added the curls just to add a little bit flair to it. Um, and as you guys see, like it doesn't look like, you know, as bad. Okay, so as you guys see, this is kind of like my final results. Um, I am going to put like pictures or uh, videos at the end of this video. So as you guys see, like it doesn't look like as bad. This is like the whole thing. I was going to wrap the top of it where the, you know, like the little white part is. I was going to wrap it. The back is horrible, but I mean, who cares? Um, this was an experiment. So, as you guys see, it looks so cute on me. So, yeah, y'all. Um, this is like the final results. And I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later.